It's lunchtime, and this is Brad Anderson's Lunch Break. If you work with technology, you've probably been to more than a few conferences in Orlando. When I got invited to speak at Citrix Synergy, I booked a flight and called a few really smart people to meet up for lunch. Today I'm talking with PJ Huff, Senior Vice President of Product and Technology at Citrix. Come on in, PJ. Hey, Brad, how are you? <laughs> I, uh, I went small. Nice ride, man. Good to see you. It's good to see you as well. You know, this is like old times. It's great. This is great. 25 years in the industry, 20 of those at Microsoft, roughly, and yeah. start of a new journey here at Citrix. It's, it's terrific. And you and I got to work together a lot at Microsoft, which is great. And I never thought we'd get the chance to do it again. So this is it's a bonus time all around. I'm yeah. really thrilled. One of the games I like to play in the car is what I call this or that. OK. And so I'm going to give you, um, you know, like two objects, and then I'm going to give you a list of description, and you're going to tell me: is it object one, is it object two, or is it both? Okay. Okay. All right. So right down the street here, there's a huge alligator farm. And so the two topics for the, for this or that today are Gator Farm or the Microsoft Citrix Partnership. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> Has been going strong for over 25 years. I'm going to say both. All right, good answer. <laughs> Number two, full of remorseless reptiles. <laughs> that would be the gator farm. <laughs> if you hadn't said full of, <laughs> I might have so had, had to think it so different. So had we quantified <laughs> a little bit and said, there's a handful of remorseless, remorseless reptiles. reptiles. I might have had a different okay. answer. And you actually have some internal knowledge on that one. Everyone involved would love for it to get bigger. I don't know the gator folks, but I'm going to say the partnership for sure. <laughs> All right, I agree. Occasionally, a couple of the individuals involved try to rip each other's heads off. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, I'm just going to stick with the gators for now. I'm just going to stick with the gators. <laughs> if you've ever seen it in person, it's incredible, but you can't believe how much laying around there is. <laughs> I'm going to go with the gators again. <laughs> like, you know, it's funny. Often, uh, partners will come in and, and ask me, like, what is the secret of partnering with Microsoft for the long term? And I'll say, look at Citrix. Citrix has partnered with yeah. Microsoft over the long haul, 25 years, and it's strong. Yes. I do think, though, Brad, alignment is a big part no, of it. 100%. I think we have a very similar world view for how our technologies can be combined to deliver you know, great solutions to our customers. So I think there's way more opportunities for us to partner and stay out of each other's way and be helpful to, to our combined customers in the marketplace. You know, the way I describe it, we have these incredibly high bandwidth conversations where we can just get things done fast. Yeah, I agree. So here we're at Citrix Energy. Indeed. And what a great event for you guys to really lay out and update the vision, you know, that you have about what the modern work experience is, how users are able to be productive anytime, anywhere, um, and how you satisfy both those needs in, in IT. Tell us about the vision that Citrix has um, as the world moves forward. It's a really exciting time to be at the company, and I feel like we're we're transforming Citrix at the same time that the entire industry is transforming. And so there's a lot of opportunity for us to align the way that we're thinking about the business with the changes that are happening in the marketplace. But we're also living in a hybrid world, and I think it's true for, yeah. for all our customers. And, and to me, the balance is really the thing that's really important in this transformation is you just can't go, you know, abandon your customers or move, you know, too fast. You really have to figure out paths that connect the customers where they are today to the things they want to do tomorrow. And we recognize that it's really important that unless it's loved by users, you know, people just won't, they won't engage. They, yeah. they won't make the most of it. But at the same time, uh, you have to have the controls in place uh, that, that allows IT to feel that they have a trusted environment and that they can monitor and provide the controls that people need. I've heard you talk a lot about anywhere access, collaboration, you know, and that mobile computing, the whole the whole concept of being able to work anytime, anywhere, any device. So let's let's talk about the work that we're doing together to really enable organizations to embrace that, enable their users to do that. We shouldn't underestimate just how important the cloud transition is. Because in terms of users being on the go and on the move, the one piece of infrastructure that they can almost certainly guarantee that they can access is the cloud. Because anytime, anywhere. You know, it's exactly. anytime, anywhere. It's and so the, you, you got to start with what's the rendezvous? What's the, where do you phone home to? And so I, one of the things that's, that's really key that we're working on is that recognition that 
the cloud experience needs to connect to all the other resources, to the on-prem apps and, and add data that we have. And so using the cloud uh, as a rendezvous that gets you back to all those locations and all that content and, and applications is really, really important. And this is, I think, where you know the work that we're doing to enable that mobile scenario on the device in, inside Intune EMS, yep. where you have all of our apps connected with all of your apps. It's not just about the in-app experience. People launch apps to get at content, yeah. to get at information, and that information can be anywhere. And so using your cloud and our cloud together to help people get at that, I think is really important. Next time on Brad Anderson's Lunch Break, there's an article that described it as the Irishman remaking the future of productivity. Doesn't that like qualify you for like a seat in parliament or something back home? <laughs>